well. Uh, you know, £8,000 a day it costs to run Helen and Douglas House, who look after terminally ill children and their families. And we know the phones get busier when you hear, hear the stories. And thank you uh, so much to Marie and Shayla for her story in the last five minutes. Now, uh, the local businesses have been keeping us very, very busy, and we want to keep them very busy in terms of raising money for Helen and Douglas House. So if you're in a van somewhere, in your car, driving around, working for a business, in the shop, uh, in the office, outside working on not a bad afternoon here in the centre of Oxford, uh, spring is certainly springing. Uh, whoever you work for, can you encourage your company to get involved? Have a listen to this man here. Please welcome, massive round of applause, James from Polythene UK. Come on, hey, give James. him a round of applause. Hi everyone. Hi Hello. James. James, uh, you help Helen and Douglas here a uh, year in, year out, and, and today you're doing something very special for us. What are you doing? Um, just to ring round the guys I know who have businesses, um, challenge them. So if I say, look, I'll put 500 quid in, match it, or um, uh, and that, I've had good success. I rang round this morning, I have a couple of people who put some money in. I want to name and shame a couple and try and it. get them to um, put a bit more in if that's okay you go for it James so I had a ring round this morning and kindly Paul Charles from Isinglass um, put £500 in straight away because that's what I said I'd do Andrew, Andrew Hammond at Oxford Products obviously then put a 1000 in and told me to match that so <laughs> that's, that's what I pledged this morning and on the way over I spoke to um, Neil at Newtrim he matched the 1000 thanks Neil uh, Ian at Academy Partnership 100 John Fiston Amberwell for 100 Amazing. Paul Whittington Oxford Fencing uh, also did the thousand. Wow. Uh, Tony TP Decorators kindly did two hundred quid. Incredible. Brendan from STL Communications uh, did five hundred, and um, they're yet to put their money in. So okay. I phoned the office and uh, and we put two thousand in instead oh. of a thousand. So. <laughs> Uh, that, thanks to all the guys at Poly for UK that helped me raise to able me to do that. And uh, if I mentioned Jack at work, he said put 200 quid in. So there you go. Put it there in, we Jack. go. Superb. Well done, Jack. So that's where we are so far. So I mean, you know, business uh, is never easy, and it's always busy, and you've got to fight for every pound, right? For, you know, any company's got to do that. But I think so. He's local, so local, and so real. We've all got kids, yeah. and it's just if you get a chance to come over, it's. Uh, well, you don't want to be using the services, but they, you need them here. Yes. Uh, uh, and it's a chat. It's all funded by charity, I, yep. I believe. So that's we it. need every penny. That's it. That's it, James. Thank you so much from Polythean UK. Give James a big round of applause. Well done, James. Yeah, There's sorry. also one other thing too, actually. We must mention James. Must mention the Oxford United car oh. because now Oxford United they are amongst the players a bit of banter, and they have a duffer car, don't they? They're, so the duffer of the week, the worst player of the week, has to drive around some awful car. Yeah, Rover Metro, 103,000 miles on the clock. It's painted blue and yellow for Oxford colours obviously with a bit of pink dashed in there the, the players kindly signed it for, for us this week Daryl Eels um, um, the former chairman donated that so it's on eBay I think at the moment in fact PK from yeah. Great Chew uh, I just put a 500 quid bid on that and you promised to outbid me so you've got to put at least 600 <laughs> quid on that one by the way well done how can people find it on eBay they just uh, eBay I searched on the way over Oxford United charity car okay. um, it's, uh, it's horrendous but you know it's, everyone needs one of these it's, it's amazing uh, okay yeah. Oxford United charity car that's incredible James thank you so so much for encouraging local businesses to get involved and if you're driving around right now or own a business then just give the volunteers a call in the call centre and they'll explain how you can get involved and they'll invite you down if you want to come down they'll invite you down to have a look because when you're here James you'll tell it you'll tell us it's a very warm and friendly and homeful place isn't it yeah and the sun is shining on me right now and the, the, like, the music's playing over there yeah uh, so welcoming and um, it's just an amazing feeling it's an amazing place it really does it needs everyone's help to keep it going as well yeah James thank you so much right okay you can get in touch 01865 796 777 do your bit it's the Helen and Douglas House Radiothon 2018 here's Erasure <laughs> 